Hello, I'm Jong Hyun Park. For successful prosthesis, you need to have precise model based on good impressions. But even if the models are good, if you don't have good bite relationship, that becomes useless. So today we are going to learn more about bite registration, which is as important as impression taking. So this is what I'm going to talk about today. So bite registration, when mouth is closed, the jaw relationship is um, taken uh, using silicon and other materials. Like in this case, mouth is closed and the jaw relationship uh, is transferred to the cast model. And I think this helps your understanding. And bite registration, as you can see, uh, going wide where there's natural teeth, um, it's not so good. It's uh, better for lab work to only uh, register the necessary part because natural teeth, every, uh, you just uh, let it bout, uh, bite to natural teeth, and that is better for mounting. Even the silicone material is very thin when the uh, uh, lower and upper teeth meet, I could interfere with the mountain. If the bite has been taken too wide, then uh, the bite needs to be trimmed at the lab because the final prosthesis needs to be, for it to save time, the mounting needs to be accurate. So the final prosthesis has been complete at the lab and like this, transfer jig is used to 3D for the 3D position of the cast to be transferred to the mouth. And this is how the final prosthesis is complete because bite registration was accurate. It saved a lot of time at uh, the clinic and chair side. And you could also use bite index for bite registration. It's a good way. I'm going to talk about a bit later because uh, you have less uh, stable bite and it uh, becomes too thick. Uh, that's increasing error if you take the bite on top of just the healing abutment. So for this uh, area, horizontal bite relation, you can use this type of bite and take and by uh, assessing different uh, things. The vertical relationship can be checked and you can take the jaw relationship. In the master course, you will learn more about this with the hands-on practice. This is using bite index and um, do you see somewhere where it's falling short? The upper and lower side where it meets in the middle, the bite material is not there, so only natural teeth uh, need to be used for the bite registration. That is the way to reduce error and more have more accurate uh, mounting. So now let's look at the abutment level bite registration. There are different types here, but mostly I use after connecting abutment, take the bite and use the custom jig. So for upper and lower, if the restoration is done at the same time, uh, it's becoming very challenging if you use fixed level bite registration. So for me, I, c I complete one side first and the opposite side I restore with temporary and observe. And if the patient is comfortable, then about the level impression is taken and the other opposite side is restored. It's about bite restoration on top of the uh, abutment. If it's insured implant, then mostly you have to use PFM. And to avoid a uh, porcelain fracture, you need good metal support. And the porcelain thickness also needs to be uniform. So after checking the adequacy, taking the bite uh, again is a good way to reduce error. So with the design that has good metal support, I was able to obtain uniform porcelain thickness. And in this type of porcelain uh, implant, if you have a lot of uh, bite control to do, then the metal can be exposed, making it unesthetic. So having accurate bite registration becomes all the more important. 
Next, using custom jig, uh, taking jaw relationship. So if you have vertical stop, it makes the jaw relationship uh, registration easier. You create you drill resin with the to create transfer jig, and then make vertical stop and take a bite. Then you can obtain more stable results. Uh, on top of custom jig, silicone uh, bite uh, registration was done again. The final prosthesis has been complete, and bite control was required only in minimal. So the, when the metal meet, if you have to do a lot of bite control, then it becomes uh, very tricky. So it's very important that you have accurate bite registration. And for this type of uh, case, use occlusal limb to take the bite relationship. O using occlusal limb, uh, based on the jaw relationship that's been registered, so which bridge and RPG has been complete. And this is final panorama picture. Now let's look at the fixture level bite registration. In resting bite on fixture level, you could use healing abutment, but it's better to use bite index or bite impression coping in terms of reducing errors. And you can understand why by looking at the next slide. As you can see here, bite index compared to healing abutment comes in different heights and has bite, needs to have bite space one or two millimeters. Even using healing abutment, if there's a bite space of one or two millimeters, there will be not much of a problem. But given that healing abutment uh, produces is produced only up to max of nine millimeters, if there's a, a high interocular space, it's better to use bite index. So the bite index uh, not coming in touch with the opposing teeth is very important. So if there's so one or two uh, space is uh, very important. Otherwise, there could be some distortion of the bite material. Uh, this is uh, using bite index. Next is uh, bite impression coping cases. So it's where you can take the bite impression at the same time. I explained a bit more about this at next time, so I'll just look at some photos. And given that the bite and the impression is taking at the same time, it uh, shortened all the procedures, and you can also save on the bite material. So cast uh, 3D uh, position is delivered to the mouth, and final prosthesis is complete. Now, let's look at digital bite registration. Let's look at a case. Bone width is very small, and to place implant, uh, I did guide design first. And using Ostem SK kit, the bone has it width has been expanded, and non hex uh, fixture of this has been placed. As there's not much of bone on the buckle side, bone grafting was done, and residual bone was not enough, so the was angled a bit toward the buckle, and uh, stock abutment uh, cannot be used. Fixture level impression is used to make a custom abutment and PMA temporary crown. Temporary crown, the occlusion was slightly low, and the central fuge contact force was a bit uh, falling short. So in orally, uh, it was uh, a bit uh, adjusted using resin. If the contact was uh, sufficient uh, made in the lab, then without taking impression again, with this design, final prosthesis would have milled and been delivered to me. But given that there is not much of a, uh, the, not sufficient force and the occlusion was slightly low, a month later, the distance was measured again and scanned on the abutment level again. Digital scan's major benefit is like this. The distance can be accurately measured. And also, after checking with your eyes, and then you send to the lab, so there is not much room for making mistake. Some gingival margin was not scanned fully, so in such case, before delivering to the mouth, I ask uh, the lab to scan it first. And using that scanned file, 
from the lab for uh, to recreate the subgingival margin, uh, merging was done. So all the images of gingival margin was obtained. Through digital scanning, final prosthesis was made. Fixture level impression was uh, used and resulting in occlusion being a bit low. Then on the abutment level, scanning again, I believe is a very good way. Interocular space is not sufficient, so 4 millimeter, uh, the shortest abutment could not be used, so sometimes it's modified for usage. And in such cases, after abutment is modified, you scan with oral scan, then you can check whether distance uh, is uh, sufficient. So it's very useful. Final prosthesis was made. So if you take the master course, the restoration that I've showed you, plus uh, this cases, all through hands-on practice and other cases are discussed and you will learn more about the bite registration. This here, Lucia jig is used. Implant restoration. If you have a lot of missing teeth, uh, it's uh, mostly in used for those cases. Hence, uh, bite registration can become tricky, but uh, you have to take good bite registration. So you have to have a good understanding of MI and CR. If you obtained easily, you will lose it easily too. But if you continue with dedicated efforts, uh, your skill level will uh, be improved further and further. Thank you for your attention.